today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can set up your Stan account and your Stan store to start making money online as a content creator so you can finally ditch Linktree and find a link in bio site that actually converts highly. Um, I have used almost every single link in bio platform. I used to use Linktree when I worked at a different company and they didn't convert. I would have videos go viral and nothing happened because it just wasn't optimized. Then I started using Stan and actually right before I recorded this video, I just had another appointment book in for my marketing agency. Stan is so amazing for converting your views on social media to actual paying clients. So this is the one video you need to finally set up your Stan store in a way that's highly optimized so that you can start converting an insane level of traffic directly into your business off of organic social media posting. Let's jump right in. page and if this is your first time ever using Stan you can simply go right here there's gonna be a link below that you can follow to get to this page and if you already have a Stan store that's perfect because I'm going to show you exactly how you can optimize your Stan store to get even more saves downloads and really convert higher so you're just gonna go ahead and sign in here is my stand store. I've actually been um, not doing too much marketing to my business recently because I had too many clients the last two months. Um, so this hasn't been a huge priority for me. Um, in the past, I would use Stan to drive revenue. For example, I would sell digital downloads or I would sell courses or small little training videos. Now I just use Stan for my business to directly get people onto phone calls and then I sign them as a client. That's why you see revenue as zero here. However, if you're a content creator and you want to make revenue directly inside of Stan, you can totally knock that out of the park as well. For me personally, I use Stripe to accept all my payments, which is awesome. So this is going to be your main dashboard right here. You've got your site views, you've got your revenue, and then you've got the leads that you've booked. So those leads are two calls booked with my agency. You can see how many leads you're getting on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, this day, 37 people looked at my stand store, or let's see today, I posted a video this morning um, promoting my marketing agency. Today was the first day that I'm ready to accept new clients for 2023. So you can already see the numbers getting reflected in the stand store with 42 clicks. Now the most important part is going to be your My Store right here. So diving into this page, what you're gonna wanna set up is ideally three main things that you wanna sell or that you want to promote in your business. For me currently, I have book a call with me, join the entrepreneurs that I coach on Facebook, so it's a fun little community there. And then I also have my affiliate link for Stan because I love helping people set up their Stan stores as you can tell based on the fact that I'm making a YouTube video about it. So those are my three links. I'm huge on simplicity in your business. The less links you can have, the more you're gonna convert for each link. I cannot stand it when I click on someone's profile and they have like 400 links and I can't find the link to book a call or to buy their course. It's just a little bit um, too confusing. So uh, when you set up your stand store, choose three main priorities um, and then you can add more if you need to in the future, but you're going to notice higher conversion. This is my favorite feature, book a call with me. That is where I drive all of my traffic currently to book a success session with me. So we're actually gonna double tap on that here and it's gonna take me to that individual product page. The great thing is, is on the side of the screen here, you can see exactly what it looks like on someone's phone screen if they were to click this. So you're gonna wanna have your heading say what it is people do when they book this call. For example, you're booking a social media success session with my agency and then in your subheading, and this is kind of copywriting and marketing, um, you're gonna wanna push the results that people get when they get on this call with you. A lot of times I see people in their stand store and their link tree, they'll say things like, book this one hour call with me where we'll chat about the next four weeks of working together. 
that's pretty boring. Nobody wants to chat with you at the end of the day. Usually on social media, they want to achieve something by hiring you or by working with you as a business. So for me, what converts extremely well and what I'm super passionate about doing is helping entrepreneurs establish a system that allows them to create better social media marketing content in less time. That sentence resonates with my ideal audience, so I put that in instead of saying things like book a one hour call that's going to help you do this. And then how I convert my store so highly is right here, we have now. Create streamlined content now. Put the result as your button title to get more conversions. A lot of business owners have book a one-on-one -on -one call with me now as their button title, you're not going to see high conversion because people don't want to book a call. They want the results that that call has to offer. So I'd recommend having your button title, whatever it is people achieve by jumping on that call with you, if you choose to have the ability to have people book calls directly into your calendar. So that's the page, the first page. And what I did was I designed this simple graphic in Canva. So you can just hit choose image, upload your image. This is a picture of me on a Zoom call so people know what it's like jumping on a call with me. Super simple, just uploading it. Um, you also have the option in stand to have a button or a call out. So for what a button would look like if I click this is what a button would look like. It's not as optimized and it's kind of confusing to know what that even means. So I recommend for your main offering, having it as this bigger, easier to read option. Then you're gonna click into the checkout page and this is honestly where the magic happens gonna put again the results that this call provides let's create simple and effective content for me that's what I put for you let's say you run a landscaping business you're gonna put let's help you create the lawn of your dreams instead of putting something like jump on this one hour call with my company to do this because people don't care people want the results so again putting the results here my favorite thing to do is put four to five pain points at the top. For example, are you struggling to turn your ideas into high performing marketing content? Are you worrying that your content doesn't look good enough to post on social media? These are things that a lot of my clients struggle with and this is exactly what I help business owners to achieve. So I put that right at the top of what you'll get out of booking a call with my agency. And then I kind of use the pain points of saying like, it's totally okay, you're just taking the wrong steps to reach real success in insert the industry you're selling to. And then I love having people lay out, working with me will help you too. And then put the things that people achieve by booking a call with you. If you choose to have a call in your stand store, then you're gonna wanna drop a testimonial because testimonials convert super well on stand stores and in marketing in general. Then lay out the next steps, you know, how it works. We're gonna jump on this call. We're gonna determine if I'm the person, right person to help you in your business. Then I put a little bit of a warning, like this is not for people that want instant success. This is, you know, it takes hard work to establish a social media marketing plan that converts super highly. So I just use that to help get rid of the people on the phone calls where they're not actually serious about leveling up their business. Because I got to a point where my stand store converted so highly where I was booking client calls like for nine hours a day. I was taking Zoom calls back to back because it converted so well. So now I drop in things to help get some of the clients off the phone um, if they're not a serious business owner that really wants to skyrocket their sales. Dropping in photos can really help. So dropping in a client testimonial, then I lay out the next steps, take action now to book a session with me, answer the questions, another testimonial, another testimonial. Testimonials are huge for converting people on social media and in your marketing. For me, my sales calls are, are totally free. So sometimes I charge for them, but in the month uh, we're in right now, they're totally free. I limit the quality to the eight. Um, just cause I've had videos go super viral in the past and I've had like 40 calls book in and then I'm a little bit overwhelmed. So right now I just log in every day and I'll increase the quantity of the amount of calls I can accept. Then what you're going to want to do is add some fields that people have to answer before getting on a call with you. For me, I ask name, email, phone number. What are your social media handles? What do you struggle most with in your marketing? What are your long-term goals for you? If you're setting up a stand store and you're accepting calls, put... What are you struggling most with in insert the industry you're working with and then what are your long-term goals so it's like point a point b um and then what i put is i say are you willing to financially invest in a social media coach 
because I don't want people getting on this phone call if they're not the type of person that's ready to take that next step and really skyrocket their success that helps me cut out leads that aren't ideal. Then I inserted more testimonials at the bottom here and I can actually show you how to do that in just a moment. But then you're gonna go into calendar availability and for me, I accept calls on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays from these times. For you, you can set it at whatever you want. I always recommend having preventing booking within 12 hours and having your slot time set at 60 minutes, just because I notice that's usually the amount of time I need for a call. And then I have five minutes after meetings and I book for the next two weeks. You don't want to book too far in advance because you'll have a lot of no-shows on calls. Um, so that's the main page of how I set up that part of my stand store and at any point if you need to pause this video or go back totally go for it next we're gonna jump into the advanced section here you can do um, your customer reviews so I personally upload a customer video and then boom copy and paste in all the testimonials here with a photo of the person to really you know show that these are legit reviews that I received and it makes it easier for people to trust you on social media um, and then boom you can add in your confirmation email for when people book with you for having an appointment with you in your stand store so that's exactly how I set up page one of my stand store in order for people to book a call with me and how you can as well Jumping back onto the home page, you can click back to, actually we're gonna hit publish first. So hit publish so that all your changes are saved. Boom, now you've got a high converting um, ability for people to book a call with you. And as you can see, it says eight calls left and you've got a five star rating. Here we go, we will not do that. Close out of any ads, okay. Now, um, I wanna show you how you can link a external link. So for example, this one, we double tapped on the second option. This is joining the entrepreneurs on Facebook. That's the title, copy and paste in the URL. You could do call out or button. For me, I just made it button to make it small, publish. And the way you're gonna do this from scratch is you can actually click. So if you're new to Stan, clicking add product. These are all the options you have for your stand store. You can collect emails and applications through a lead magnet. So I used to do this and I collected an insane amount of emails and phone numbers for my business. Um, essentially just create a freebie in Canva, throw it into your stand store, make it super easy. You can have people book a time on your calendar. It'll automatically sync with your Google Calendar, which is amazing. So that was actually what we just did a few minutes ago, showing you how people book a call with me. That is right here. If you wanna set that up from total scratch, you're gonna click this button. You can sell a course, you can host a webinar, you can do an affiliate link if you wanted. External link or URL, that's what I just showed you for the Facebook community that I was driving people to. You can just click add external link and then you copy and paste the link you want the stand store to take you to. You can have a membership, you can sell a custom product like asking me anything, or you can sell a digital download. So if you wanna do anything on social media and you wanna sell anything, you can pretty much do it in Stan. It is so amazing. Um, so going into the next tab, so let's go into all your appointments are gonna come in right here. Um, which is pretty amazing. So I can look at all the appointments I have for the next week and you'll be able to click on each appointment and see people's individual answers and how they answered the questions. Then you're able to see my income tab. So for me, this is like affiliate shares or whatever I'm currently selling in Stan if I'm collecting income off of Stan that month. And then you can look at all your referrals here. Um, that way you can see if you do choose to refer people to Stan, it's all sorted. My audience tab, you're going to be able to see all the emails, phone numbers, and how much money each customer has spent inside your Stan store. And then this is one of my favorite tabs, analytics. You can look at your store visits over the last month. And what we can actually do is let me show you the last six months. Um, let me see here. Yeah, this is last six months. Um, so what I wanted to show you is in September, I had a video get 300,000 views. 
Um, so as you can see here, that was 1,641 people that poured into my Stan store, which I think is pretty amazing. And Stan converted that so well, it handled the traffic well. I booked an insane amount of appointments for my marketing agency. It was really simple. October, we're slowing down a little bit. Totally good. That's kind of just ebbs and flows of business, which I love. You can track your revenue in each month, track how many leads you were getting. So here it looks like I booked 34 calls in September off of that viral video. You can see which page on Stan gets the most views. So you can see, okay, let's create simple and effective content. That's the call page that got 433 clicks, views. And then you can track where every click comes through. So as you can see, I'm driving traffic from a lot of different places. Um, so it's a little overwhelming seeing that here, but for your store, it might be simpler. Where the traffic's coming from, your conversion rates, your referral rates, it's very, very simple. If you're worried about, oh geez, is my business ready for a stand store or is this even gonna be worth it? It was the best $29 a month I ever spent for my business. It lets me book appointments, it lets me do everything. And honestly, I would recommend just jumping into Stan I'll link a free trial below. Um, this sounds like an advertisement, honestly, but try it out for two weeks. Try it for your business. If you have Linktree, please get off of Linktree. As a social media marketer, that is not where you wanna be right now. Um, but honestly, it's so simple and easy to use and you're gonna see so much better conversion on social media.